With the recent release of the second Extraction movie now on Netflix, I took it upon myself to essentially watch both of these movies back to back and see what they were about, and while these specific type of action movies aren't really my thing, I think there is still a great amount of merit put into both of these films respectfully. They both star Chris Hemsworth as this mercenary who accepts jobs from the black market. These movies are very violent, which I don't know, for a Netflix movie is really appreciated to see. The big thing about these movies of course are the super impressive long take. Both movies feature these long take action sequences which roughly end up being around 20 minutes long, and while I can't say whether they hide cuts in certain moments, I still think that these are really well executed and the way they're shot is really engaging if I'm honest. During the first movie's long take, I was a little open mouthed watching it. The first movie sees Chris Hemsworth going on this mission to retrieve this rich billionaire's kid after he was kidnapped and we essentially follow the two of them from the extraction process, which in both movies are the purpose of the long takes. The long takes are the extraction itself, to eventually getting this kid to safety and there's a couple of little twists and turns along the way. You've seen a type of story like this many times before, this one doesn't really do anything new with it, but it still acts as an entertaining watch. The acting is pretty good, and like I mentioned earlier, the violence is very prevalent and uncomfortable sometimes, as you'd expect for a situation like this movie portrays. There's a moment in this movie where a kid gets chucked off a fucking building, it's pretty funny. <laughs> There's many movies like Extraction, so if it's your thing, I'd recommend it. In the second movie, I guess spoilers for the first one, Chris Hemsworth essentially dies, but they make it clear to us that he died with the fattest quotation marks possible. It was kind of laughable how they do everything in their power in this movie to bring him back to life. It literally feels like Netflix actively trying to put life into a franchise that, uh, considering how the first movie ended, isn't really necessary at all. But this is modern Hollywood, after all, everything needs to be franchised now. There's a lot more humor in this movie that doesn't work at all and it's really hard to watch when they slip it in. There's a whole conversation at one point between two characters that they just they just stop to talk about TikTok. It's really cringe. When you think of how serious the subject matter of both of these movies are, there isn't really much room to slip in humor like this, but I guess the writers felt it would have helped and it really didn't. I'm really conflicted with this movie because while I think the pacing is done in this far better than the first movie, I think the first movie story kept me more engaged than this one did, which for one I've never seen, let alone in a franchise. That's all I really wanted to say about these movies. They're not inherently great, but they're not god-awful, as in a movie like The Grey Man, another Netflix movie, which is genuinely a piece of shit. These types of movies are made for a good majority of certain people, so like I said before with the first Extraction movie, if these are your thing, you'll get a lot more out of them, while also maybe gaining a bit more appreciation for really great cinematography and the effort these filmmakers have to put into making them. As for ratings, Extraction gets three and a half stars and its sequel gets three stars. However, I feel like if I were to ever rewatch these movies, the ratings would fluctuate. Thank you for watching this review and please remember to subscribe. Yeah.